have one last question for you on water defense, because I know that lately there was this back and forth and they've done a lot in Flint. Um, but what was your reaction when there were some professors who had took issue with some comments that you had made? But did you, do you have a response? I wanted to ask you directly. Water defense is kind of, is kind of dealing with that right mm -hmm. now. Um, the important thing to remember is, is those people are really sick there and, uh, and that we should focus on them, not, not people getting, uh, feeling like the information that's coming out of there, which are t is just test results, mm -hmm. uh, is, is somehow uh, taking away from the debate. Mm -hmm. uh, the community has been asking us to release test results. We're the only people, only organization to release test results to the community. Mm -hmm. Not the EPA or the Michigan State Michigan has re released the actual test results. And so, the sad thing about what's happening there is, where is everybody? Where are all the other universities? Who's doing epidemiological studies? Uh, I hear every day from people who are bathing and they're getting sick, and they're using the water, and then they start bathing in bottled water, and the, and the sickness starts to go away. And so we have this thing happening there, and, and, and that's not the conversation that people want to have. And that's the conversation we should be having. Not whether or not uh, my organization is scientists, because we're, we're admitted, we're citizen scientists, you know? But we are doing the same testing and using, using the same results, using the same test that the EPA is using, but we're releasing our test results and the EPA isn't. And so all we're doing is giving people information, and there's nothing wrong with that. And the more information people have, the better off they are. And to say that giving information to the people is somehow scaring them, that's not what I'm hearing from the community. Ask the community, they'll tell you. They'll tell you we're sick, and this is still happening, and there's no one doing anything to help us, not the CDC or the EPA. They're not telling us what's happening, and we're frightened because we don't know what's in our water, and everyone has the right to know what's in their water. Thank you.